Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving deep into the fascinating world of microbiology as we unravel the secrets hidden within the bacterial cell walls. You are watching BioResource. In this episode, we will explore the captivating technique of bacterial staining, a vital tool that helps us differentiate between different types of bacteria. Before we plunge into the details, let's take a journey back in time. In 1884, a Danish bacteriologist named Hans Christian Gram was on a mission to differentiate lung tissue from bacterial cells. Little did he know that the discovery would revolutionize microbiology. Fast forward to today and Gram staining is a fundamental technique that microbiologists and researchers rely on. So how does this gram staining work? Imagine you are a detective using strains to solve the mystery. We are starting by staining the bacterial cell walls with crystal violet, turning them all purple. Next we add iodine forming a bond that locks the purple stain inside the cells. But here is a twist. When we wash the cells with alcohol, something incredible happens. Gram positive cells with their robust peptidoglycan walls hold on to the purple but gram negative cells with their unique outer membranes lose their color. Finally, we add safranin to highlight the gram negative cells in pink. Understanding the cell walls is key to appreciating gram staining. Gram positive bacteria have this thick peptidoglycan armor that keeps them purple and strong. Gram negative bacteria on other hand have a complex structure with a thinner peptidoglycan layer and an outer membrane made of lipopolysaccharides. This intricate cell wall architecture determines how they react to staining. Now let's break down the staining process into steps. First we use crystal violet, the primary stain, turning all cells purple. Then comes iodine acting as a mordant forming a stable complex. Next alcohol, our decolorizing agent, challenges the cell's retention of the stain. Gram positive cells remain purple while gram negative cells lose the color. Finally, safranin, the counter stain, brings the pink hue in gram negative cells. Visualizing the difference between gram positive and gram negative cells is like appearing through a microscopic lens. Gram positive cells proudly wear their purple coats thanks to their thick peptidoglycan. They are like a medieval knights of the microbial world. In contrast, gram negative cells appear pink after losing the purple during decolorization. Their outer membrane adds an extra layer of intercube. Now let's talk uh, real world applications. Gram staining is like a Jeep for doctors and researchers in the world of microbiology. By identifying whether a bacterium is gram positive or gram negative, medical professionals can choose the most effective antibiotic for treatment. This knowledge also sheds light on how bacteria cause disease and how they spread, aiding public health efforts. However, even the most powerful tools have their limits. Some bacteria don't neatly fit into the gram classification, leading to exceptions. Moreover, bacteria with unique cell wall structures can create unexpected staining outcomes. Scientists have developed modified techniques for specific cases such as identifying acid fast organisms or bacterial spores. In laboratories, gram staining is the foundation of microbiological research. It helps us identify bacterial cultures and isolate pure samples for closer examination. Studying bacterial morphology offers insights into their behavior and interactions, setting a stage for advanced research and discoveries in this field. As we conclude this journey into the world of gram staining, remember that this technique is our ticket to deciphering the intricacies of bacterial cell walls. From its historical roots to its modern applications, gram staining is a testament to human curiosity and the power of scientific inquiry. If you have any questions about gram staining, bacterial cell walls or anything related, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Let's keep the scientific conversation going. Going. Thank you for listening. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.